All right, so Hashcat is a type of hacking tool and a password cracker specifically. It was created to be able to hack the most complex of passwords, targeting multiple aspects of coding simultaneously. What's the secret sauce of Hashcat? Well, it's going to crack passwords by using your graphics card on your computer. So let's try it out. All right, so for right now, we are going to crack an MD5 hash that has been created before. You can see the hash that we will crack saved in a text file. Now, Hashcat comes installed by default on Kali Linux. So just open up the terminal, write sudo suit dash. And you can just type Hashcat double dash help. And that is going to bring up all the options that you're going to need to know in order to run properly. All right, so the first option that you need to specify is dash M. So this option determines a hash type and the hash type is going to be a number and the numbers will represent hash types are shown below. So here are the options to use Hashcat. You'll need to select your attack mode and hash type. All right, so the next option is the attack mode. So if you go down here, you can see the attack mode types, and I'll use a dictionary attack or straight mode, which is a very simple attack mode. You might also know it as a word list attack. Now, if we look at a few of the other modes here, combiner attack. Now, this is the addition of each word of a dictionary to each word in the dictionary. Brute force tries all combinations from a given key space. And the hybrid attack is just a combinator attack. So one side is simply a dictionary. The other is the result of a brute force attack. So in other words, a full brute force key space is either appended or pre-appended to each of the words from the dictionary. That's why it's called a hybrid. All right, so we're going to write a simple command. Just write hashcat dash m0. So I'm going to choose zero because the hash that we will crack is md5. Dash A, zero to select attack mode and specify the hash path that we will crack, which is hashes.txt. And the word list that we use, I'm going to use the rock you word list, but you can use another word list as well if you want. So I'll open up a new terminal and write locate word lists. So you can see the word list that um, are usable on Kali. If the hash is more complicated, you can choose a bigger word list. But anyway, let's get back to the example. So in the final part of this, I'll write double dash show to see the result. So here is the result and the hash and the result of the hash. All right. Now, I do need to tell you that the attack mode or hash type will vary from problem to problem. So you do need to choose options suitable for the problem that you face. The Hashcat also has a few different features. You can use a word list with rules. Hashcat rules are rules that are programmed to accommodate the rules engine in Hashcat. So hash rules are efficient because they can produce complex patterns of words from our target word lists. But it's by using rules, we can attempt some more complex passphrases, allowing us to crack more passwords from our target hash table. So for use rules, we can use the dash r options, retype the command that we just typed without the double dash show. So write dash r and the path of the rule which is slash user slash share slash hashcat slash roles. You say that three times fast. Now, if you press tab, you can see all the rules. So I'm going to select base64.rule. And in the final part, just write double dash show to see the result. And here's the result. All right, so that's Hashcat and how to use it.